So I'm Dr. Kerry Harding. I'm a professor of genetics at uh, Oregon Health and Science University in uh, Portland, Oregon. And uh, I do both uh, clinical practice, um, clinical research, and uh, basic science research as well in many different inborn errors of metabolism, but uh, PKU is the most common disorder that uh, 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 patients that I see, but also the uh, area that I've done research in for most of my career as well. Um, in terms of uh, what is phenylketonuria or PKU, it's an a inherited a disorder, a, a genetic disease, and individuals that are born with this are missing a specific enzyme from their liver that's responsible for metabolizing the amino acid phenylalanine. And so phenylalanine comes in the protein that we eat, and normally the liver converts it to a different amino acid, tyrosine. And in people with PKU, they have a very, very limited ability to, to do that. Um, and if they're untreated, the phenylalanine builds up in the body and more specifically in the brain, and it causes brain damage. We still don't quite understand it, all the mechanisms through which the phenylalanine causes brain damage, but Again, if they're not treated, it causes them to have irreversible brain damage. So um, we do screen all babies at birth. Uh, they have their blood phenylalanine levels checked within the first week of life. And anyone who has an elevated blood phenylalanine gets referred for more evaluation. And if they're proven to have PKU, they get started on a diet that's very severely restricted in the amount of natural protein that they take. And that lowers the blood and brain phenylalanine and protects them from uh, from from the brain damage uh, developing. But they have to be on that uh, treatment, which is very restrictive and very difficult. They have to remain on that for life to protect them from any consequences of the high, high phenylalanine. There, are, there is one um, treatment, uh, pharmacologic treatment that works in uh, a small po portion of the population, so probably 10 to 20% of individuals uh, are responsive to uh, a drug called Um It sort of works like a vitamin. It's the, it's the natural cofactor for the enzyme in the liver that's, that's missing in many people. And a small, a small portion of the people with PKU respond to that. If you give them extra Suproptorin, it, it helps uh, improve the amount of protein that they can tolerate, um, but it's not a cure for them. So they still have to be on diet, but they might be able to eat a bit more protein than they would otherwise. And we can use Suproptorin in all ages. Um, so typically what happens is that we'll try that in most patients sometime in the first couple of years of life and see if it helps raise the amount of fee tolerance, we call it the amount of phenylalanine they can take in their diet. Um, but again, only about, you know, one out of five or one out of 10 patients can get an effect. Um, once you get to be an adult, there, there is an, uh, an FDA approved option of an enzyme substitution therapy called pegdalease. So this is a, a recombinant drug. It's a different enzyme that bacteria use that uh, is the patients inject under their skin and it travels in the bloodstream. Uh, and that will actually consume their phenylalanine for them. And if patients are able to take these injections every day, they are able to very frequently uh, liberalize their diet and are able to eat quite a bit more protein. And some, some individuals are able to get off the diet completely. Uh, it's not a cure. They have to, again, take these injections uh, every day for life. Um, and it's a foreign protein. So everybody has antibodies or develops antibodies against it. And um, some patients are, aren't able to tolerate that. They, they get significant reactions to the drug. So they have to return to diet because they can't tolerate it. But quite a few people have had uh, good success using uh, pegvalease therapy. Um, uh, but it's only available for, uh, for adults. Uh, it's only approved uh, over the age of 18 in the US.